The following presentation of the Mass is made possible by your generous support of the Catholic TV Network. The Catholic TV Network welcomes and invites you to celebrate the sacred mysteries, listen to God's Word, and in the Holy Eucharist, proclaim the victory of Jesus over death until He comes in glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, for whose honor the Bishop St. Stanislaus fell beneath the swords of his persecutors, grant, we pray, that we may persevere strong in faith even until death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his anointed. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who accuses them before our God day and night. They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. Therefore rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
as you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still Lord be with you. And your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to Lord. Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the Son of Destruction in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word and the world hated them because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. And you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world. And I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Today the church celebrates the feast of St. Stanislaus one of the former bishops of Krakow and the patron of Poland. St. Stanislaus offers us a beautiful example, not only of what good and holy life looks like, but what it means to also live a holy death, what it also means to express holy leadership. St. Stanislaus was born in a relatively poor area of Poland, but was inspired to a vocation at an early age. His parents were without children for a long time and, we, and rejoiced when they were able to have baby Stanislaus in their home. That love that they expressed towards God and thanksgiving for the gift of their child was felt by Stanislaus himself. And this inspired him to love in return. This drew him towards a vocation to the priesthood and he quickly became a prominent figure in Poland becoming eventually the Bishop of Krakow. Of course, we see time and again in history where those wanting to live a holy life come into conflict with other leadership in the area. We see throughout history times where there have been unjust or corrupt government leadership in the kings, tyrants, or whomever they be. And you have the person in charge of the earthly government not living a good and holy life promoting immorality and trying to rule by an authority that he wanted to establish for himself. But here in response to that, Stanislaus wanted to promote holiness. He wanted to promote God's way and called out the king in many regards, accusing him of the immorality that he portrayed. Of course, no one likes to be called out. And so after a Long back and forth, the king ordered his execution. St. Stanislaus was martyred for his faith, giving witness by his blood to the beauty of a life of God. Just as these conflicts come up time and again in history, we get to learn a lesson from each and every one of those. Because early on in the church, soon after Jesus died, for those first few centuries when Christianity was illegal and had to be underground, the martyrs were inspirations. The martyrs were beautiful examples because they witnessed the fact that a life with God, a life motivated by God, a holy life is more worthy, is more beautiful and more valuable than even life itself. One of the songs so beautifully says, Your words, O Lord, are better than life. 
of course, is a very difficult thing for us to be able to live in this day and age, as it has been throughout time and history. But we know that a life with God is better than anything else. We know a life filled with the grace of the Holy Spirit is better than anything else. It is better even than anything we can experience on earth. The martyrs give us the most beautiful example and the most beautiful witness to what our faith does and what it means. So today let's cling to the example of St. Stanislaus, all the martyrs that have come before and all the martyrs since, that the testimony of their blood can be for us the life-giving nourishment to help us cling more closely to Jesus Christ. Well, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now, calling upon our heavenly and merciful Father, we bring to him our needs and our petitions. For those who hear the word of the Lord today, may they taste and see that the Lord is good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our bishops, priests, and deacons, may they find respite and rest in their lives which they have devoted to spreading the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are persecuted because of their faith, may they receive protection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a renewed dedication to collaboration and compromise in our daily lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and those suffering in mind, body, and spirit, may the peace of the Lord fill them with confidence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they rest in the peace of Christ who delivers us from all our fears. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, you look upon us with such serene kindness. Hear our prayers and answer them according to your most holy will. We speak these prayers and petitions through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at God's hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all those who will the church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, which we offer to your majesty in commemoration of the blessed martyr Stanislaus, that it may lead us to obtain pardon and confirm us in perpetual thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr Stanislaus, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Stanislaus, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Sean our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We have received your heavenly gifts, rejoicing at this feast day, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that we who in this divine banquet proclaim the death of your Son may merit to be partakers with the holy martyrs in his resurrection and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. We have worshiped God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord has invited us to the altar, and this great prayer has brought benefit to ourselves, the church, and the whole world. Please help the television mass to continue by sending a donation to Bishop Reed, the Catholic TV Network, P.O. Box 9196, Watertown, Massachusetts, 02471. Join us anytime on Roku, Apple TV, or Amazon Fire or watch and contribute online at catholictv.com.